Welcome to On The Beat everyone, I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me today is Amanda Fondren from Omnis Health Clinic and today we're talking about a part of our body that's essential and not a lot of people talk about it and of course it's the liver. Welcome to the show my friend. Thank you. All right, what does the liver do for our body to begin with? Well the liver is really important, it actually does five to six hundred processes even. No. Yes. So it, some of its main purpose is, is detoxifying the body, um, regulating metabolic activity with some of the processes that it does. It pr creates proteins and it can, really? it can manufacture glucose when we need it and manufacture ketones when we aren't getting enough calories. We can calories. damage the liver though, can't we? We can, Excessive yes. drinking, bad diet. Things like that. Yes. Because they call it cirrhosis of the liver if you become an alcoholic. And Too much like sugar. That. Oh, really? Sugar? Yeah. Can a liver be replaced? It can be replaced. And at what stage, is this just when your liver is so in the reverse cycle, what are some of the symptoms that you may have liver issues? Okay. What am I looking for? When you just start to have... Um, toxic liver or fatty liver, you can experience insulin resistance where you start to experience some prediabetes oh. and things like that. Um, poor metabolic function, gaining weight, cholesterol problems, having high cholesterol. And um, those can be some indicators that your liver is not functioning as well as it should. And then as that progresses, you can experience um, yellowing of the skin, swelling of the abdomen, and that's when the liver is pretty damaged. I just find that fascinating that our body can tell us so many things that we're mm -hmm. doing wrong. It can. And that we do have the possibility of reversing it and making it all good again. How are you having all those tests done? Blood work? When we look at liver, we can look at blood work. You can also look with diagnostic imaging, CT of the abdomen, to look at how the liver, the size, and if there's fatty liver present, things like that. Okay, let's talk a little bit about some of the good stuff, okay. if we can. How do we create a healthy liver? Okay, one way is by, we can utilize supplements and natural things that yep. help to Love offload the liver. Apple cider vinegar and water is one of them. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not very tasty when you first start, but it's a really good way to help clean the liver. Someone told me I had to take that apple cider vinegar, <laughs> and I can't remember what it was for, but I lasted three days. <laughs> I love it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. So what's some other things? If you can't handle the apple cider, um, a good, clean, healthy diet, good, I A good, clean, healthy diet, keeping less sugar in your diet, Actually, eating less gluten is healthier for really? the liver because you have less inflammatory stuff going on. Gluten is a huge inflammation causer so in the, the body. So here's the thing, is we talk about these health issues a lot on mm -hmm. these type of shows, but is it possible for the everyday person to be able to afford to lead these healthy, eat clean, fresh every day? Or, can yes. you just cut out? See, that's the thing. A lot of people don't think they can. Why? What are you suggesting that they do? So I would suggest just making quality choices every yeah. time you choose. And when you, it's worse to buy more poor quality choices mm. than it is to buy a smaller amount of high quality choices. And I was about to say to you, because you just fed into my next question, when you are buying better quality and you may have to buy smaller amounts, okay, it's actually better for us because we eat too much, right? We do most of the time. I went for dinner last night here in here and the meals were so big, I couldn't eat it all. Right. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, I tried. <laughs> right. <laughs> I didn't want that food to go to waste. Right. But we always appreciate you coming in, Amanda. Thank you. You always give us such great information. I appreciate it. All right. If you want to find out more from Omnis Health Clinic, there it all is up on the screen for you. We've been talking to Amanda. And today, all about the liver. Back after this short break.